We leave you tonight with the story of a little pink piano that's been proving to be a big inspiration for a band of BC farm animals, especially the pigs, who are hogging the spotlight. Here's CTV's Adam Sawatsky. Although the little pink piano couldn't be further from Carnegie Hall, one wonders if the anticipation of its upcoming concert at the Beacon Hill Children's Farm feels just as momentous. They have discovered music. Sorry, yeah, they love to play. And by they, farm manager Claudia Laba is referring to this trio of musical pigs. There's Poppy, there's Petunia, and there's Punk, because not everyone can be a flower. Well, not every piano can be a Steinway. The little pink one has never stopped striving for excellence. A little girl donated her piano to us. The little pink piano's first player, who no doubt set high standards for performance before graciously offering it to an aspiring band of chickens. Animal enrichment, so they actually make it more interesting, playful for the chicken. Although the chickens attempted to impress the public by appearing for every performance dressed in dynamic feathered stage costumes, not one ever seemed to come close to rivaling the musical talents of a Liberace or Elton John. They are not as musical in my opinion. So, Claudia decided to pair the little pink piano with players who had more potential. Pigs are some of the smartest animal. On lists of the world's smartest animals, pigs regularly rank in the top five, boasting the intelligence of a three-year-old human and being more trainable than a dog. And the first time she played the little pink piano, Punk the pig performed way more notes than a flock of chickens. And they seem to like the idea that it makes sound. And as Poppy, Petunia, and Punk have grown into teenagers, their musical tastes have evolved with them. Well, it's freestyle, let's say. <laughs> and while the pigs pound out music that's more rock than Rachmaninoff, the little piano seems to be tickled pink. I think the piano is just happy to be, uh, be played, being uh, an active part of the farm. And ensuring that no matter who is performing the soundtrack to Smiles, they're hitting all the right notes. Adam Swatsky, CTV News, Victoria.